So if you do the 40 to 45 grams of protein in the first meal, is that going to help with weight loss and fat loss? So weight loss and fat loss are first and foremost calories. So you have to reduce calories. You know, calories do count, but they don't count the same. Okay. <laughs> Age, muscle mass, physical activity, macronutrient ra- pa- pattern all make a difference to it. Um, we know that we know that putting protein into breakfast increases the thermogenic effect of that meal. That if you're with carbohydrate and fat, you'll lose about five percent of the calories as heat. With protein, you'll lose fifteen to twenty percent. So we've done a number of weight loss studies where, in essence, we just increase the protein at breakfast. The rest of the day was kind of the same. Uh, and what we showed is with the same amount of calories, as close as we could, people who had a high carb, low protein versus higher protein, lower carb, the people with the higher protein, lower carb lost the equivalent of about 300 calories more from body fat per day, eating the same level of calories. That's a thermogenic effect. Okay, so that first can help you lose weight. Uh, and it's sh- even more important, it should help you pr- protect your lean body mass, your muscle mass while you're losing weight. So there's two particular, and it also should increase your satiety factor. So there should be at least three elements to why that first meal is important, particularly in a weight loss. You know, it protect your muscle, increase thermogenesis, and provide more satiety. Is there a maximum amount of protein that one can eat in a meal, like a maximum amount before the body cannot absorb it? It's too much. So that's a great question that every trainer out there will say, oh, you can't eat, you can't handle more than 30. Um, There's many studies at 100 grams at a meal. Okay. So the issue is you have to adapt to it. So if I take somebody who's got 10 grams of protein at breakfast and I say, oh, I'm going to give you a meal with 75 in it, chances are their digestive system's not going to handle that. They'll probably have some serious GI disturbances from that. But if you sort of titrate it up over a week or 10 days, um, there doesn't really seem to be any limit to how much protein the body can use. It certainly can handle 100 grams at a meal. So, you know, the idea of 40 or 50 Um, the, the sort of the other issue about how to look at that is, is there a change in efficiency of the protein you're using? And so what we know, and this is, becomes more important compared to weight loss versus a bodybuilder. Um, we know that it takes about 30 grams of pretty high quality protein to stimulate muscle protein synthesis. So we think that's an absolute minimum during weight loss. 35, 40, it's kind of, then it becomes a calorie issue. You know, if I go to 50 grams of protein, well, I'm adding another 40, 50 grams of ca- or 50 K cals, you know, I'm adding more calories too. So we try to balance that. And so weight loss, we typically use around 35. We're kind of maximizing the protein with the minimum calories. The response curve in, in muscle is a very logarithmic type of thing, that it plateaus out. So we think that the maximum effect on muscle probably is around 60 grams. So we don't think there's much benefit to eating more than 60 at a meal. So 30, 35 probably gives you 85% of your maximum effect. And the extra 15% comes from another 30 grams. Okay. If you're a maximum bodybuilder, an elite athlete, you may be perfectly happy getting 30 more grams of protein. You don't care about the calories. But if you're doing weight loss, you don't really want to do that. So, you know, it's it's a diminishing return and we think it plateaus probably around 60 grams. I don't, I don't think have, you know, so one of the questions I always think about distribution, okay, so if I have an individual who has 10 grams at breakfast, 20 grams at lunch and 60 grams at dinner, that's 90. And I want to go to 120. Where should I put it? Absolutely no question. It goes in the first meal. 
I want that 10 to become 40. That's how you make the decision.